You're watching UNICEF Television. A Harlem school choir helped to launch the United Nations new education initiative designed to get every child into school ahead of the deadline for the Millennium Development Goals. This is a great day for education. It's a great day for the United Nations. Most of all, it's a great day for the children of the world. Education First, which is a public and private partnership, has already collected $1.5 billion in donations. My challenge now, while I am deeply moved, deeply excited and honored, my challenge would be how to translate this uh, energy, dynamism and excitement and leadership role into delivery uh, to many, many people, many children. The launch at UN headquarters was attended by several heads of state who heard that there are 61 million children out of school and about half of those are in countries affected by conflict. It is wrong that my grandchildren today went to excellent schools and all of those children cannot. It is because of those children that UNICEF is committed to this cause. The launch was followed by a panel discussion in which Jordan's Queen Rania called for greater political will to get every child an education. Um, I think it would be fair to say that, that everybody in this room knows that education is more than just classrooms and textbooks. It's more than just learning to read and write. It's about prosperity, opportunity. It's about health. It is about stability. And it's about justice. And Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi spoke of her own experience seeing Myanmar's education system fall apart under a dictatorship. And once the military regime had taken over, the lights went out one by one. The education system got worse and worse for two main reasons. One was that the government was no longer accountable to the people. Secondly, a dictatorial government does not want its people to think too hard. In the next five years, Education First will focus on three priorities. Getting every child into school, improving the quality of learning, and fostering global citizenship. This is Chris Niles reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, visit unicef.org. You've been watching UNICEF Television.